Hey guys, it's Mike, and in this video, I've got a small tip for those of you who are using Unity on Linux. Now, I know this is probably a small number of you, but recently, Unity finally added UI scaling to the Windows port, but totally failed to include those options on the Linux and Mac versions. So, here we are with a workaround for the Linux version. I've noticed the Mac version scales pretty damn well, but the Linux version, well, it's pretty poor. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to launch the Unity Hub without any special arguments or anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and open my project. Okay, so I have a 4K monitor, as I'm sure you can tell, and this window is just absolutely pathetically tiny. Let's open the editor and see how much worse it gets. This is fairly readable, but this dialog right here actually picks up from my system theme. The rest of the UI absolutely does not, even if you select the system font option. Okay, so here is the Unity editor, and as you can see, the font on the side here, it's absolutely unreadable. Maybe some of you have hawk eyes. To me, that's unreadable and uncomfortable. Ironically, the menus, because these actually use native GTK styles, the menus are okay. The menus are more than readable. My problem is not with the menus up here. It's with the actual Unity text here. Now, like I said, Unity has not implemented any official UI scaling options, so the workaround for this is going to be to do the following. Go ahead and open your Unity Hub and figure out where your Unity Editors folder is. Now, we need to go to this folder because we're actually going to manually launch the Unity Editor. So I'm just going to copy this path and I'm going to open a terminal here. Okay, so I'm going to change directory into that path. And then I'm going to go to the version of Unity that I want to use. Now I can just do ls here to see all my installed versions. So I'll change directory into the 2020.3.19. And then in this folder is actually another folder called editor. And then inside this folder is actually the Unity uh, executable here. Now, in order to launch Unity with some scaling, uh, you need to apply the following environment variable in front of it gdk underscore scale equals two. Now, there are two different environment variables for doing this on GNOME or GNOME-like distros or x11 distros, whatever it is. The point is there are two different variables. There's this gdk scale variable, which takes an integer, and then there's also gdk underscore dpi scale, which takes a fractional number. Now, unfortunately, Unity really only seems to support gdk scale uh, if I include GDK DPI scale, if I include both of these arguments, the text in the menus will actually scale, but nothing else scales. So the only one that Unity supports officially is GDK underscore scale 2. Now, unfortunately, because this is integer based, you only get 1 or 2. So in my opinion, 2 is still too big, but I'd rather have it too big than too small. So now I'm just going to do dot slash Unity. And before you do this, I recommend closing the Unity Hub just so that there's no conflicts or anything going on there. But once you've got this command entered in, you can just hit enter. And the Hub will launch again, but you'll notice that the Unity splash screen will pop up for a second. And you'll notice it's bigger. And if you did this right, the Unity Hub should be huge too. So I'll just go ahead and load my project here. You can see this is much bigger and scaled to match. All right, and well, yeah, I would argue the font is now too big, but like I said, for me, I'd rather have it too big than too small. I can deal with too big, I can deal with shuffling windows around, but when the font is ridiculously small as it was before, and uh, this company that makes a lot of money can't bother to include font scaling options for their own custom toolkit, well, this is what we end up with, unfortunately. So if you want Unity to officially add support for Linux font scaling or Mac font scaling or whatever, then you guys need to go and bug them about it. Don't harass them about it, but definitely submit bug reports. Let them know that this is a feature that you guys want. And if this helped you, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you guys.